I want today to be the day you break the cycle in your life in these failed marriages. This brought you to court for the fifth time. I want you to choose to break that cycle today. Here is today's case. Felicia and Gerald met 10 years ago on a dating website. A fun lunch date kicked off a fast-moving romance that neither saw coming. They found a second chance at love, blended their families, and never looked back. Felicia is used to the spotlight, having participated in bodybuilding competitions for over a decade. Recently, Gerald started a modeling career of his own that's bringing him way more attention than either of them anticipated. To figure out whether their love can survive this new dynamic, they're coming to Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, today's case is Cox versus Cox. Thank you, Juan. Felicia Cox. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your husband, Gerald Cox. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been together for 10 years. Yes, Your Honor. You have a long storied relationship, but now you are having some problems since you met on blackpeoplemeet.com in 2010. Yes, Your Honor. So why don't we start with you, ma'am? Tell me what's happening. Okay, Judge. I'm bringing my husband to court today because Gerald is going through a midlife crisis. He started his modeling career at the age of 50, and frankly, he's feeling himself. Mm -hmm. He's not wearing his ring anymore. He's getting a lot of attention from women now. He's hanging out at the cigar bar for hours at a time. He's spending a lot of money on himself. And I don't know if this keeps going on, if our marriage is going to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, Gerald and I, we've, we've been exclusive mm -hmm. for, for 10 years now. He's good looking, he's tall, he's charming. He treats me like a princess. But he's doing a whole lot of crazy right now. And so he's got me feeling a little bit neglected. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Cox? I am here today at divorce court because she's feeling insecure. Mm. I mean, I started modeling about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. and I don't believe I'm giving her a reason to feel that way. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying, you know, what's going on for me right now. And she's been in that space before, too, where all the light is on her. Mm -hmm. So now that a little bit is, of it is on me, mm -hmm. I'm like, just chill, you know? Mm -hmm. We're solid. Well, she said you're not wearing your wedding ring. What's going on with that? Well, sometimes it doesn't match my attire. So... <laughs> or I might go to the gym. Excuses. Anybody that works out knows that your hands will swell when you work out. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I don't wear it just to see if I still kind of got that, wow. that it. So we're moving past attire and gym now. Well, I gave you so all you, you of take the reasons. It, I, listen, I appreciate the honesty, but I want to talk about that because <laughs> that's a part of the problem. Absolutely. You're taking off your ring to see if you still have it. What exactly is it? And right. how do you know if you still have it? Well, it could be that you get attention, a certain mm -hmm. type of attention. I'm your attention. R yeah, yeah, she definitely gives me attention. But why do you need that kind of attention outside of your marriage at this point, sir? So much so that you, you're willing to take off your ring and perpetuate a lie? Right. No, 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 no. If they ask, I tell. That's a problem, Mr. Cox, because <laughs> where do you draw the line with the attention that you get? I'm married with kids. You say that immediately when they approach you. I'm married. Excuse me? I am married with kids. Yeah. Your Honor. What else do you say is going on, Ms. Your Honor, Fox? so Gerald had this huge runway fashion show last month. And, you know, he's looking good. He's walking down the runway, and women are hollering, screaming. I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's a fashion show. I didn't think anything of it. Mm -hmm. Well, when he got closer to, to me, because I was sitting in the front row, he didn't have his ring on. Mm -hmm. I, I immediately got an attitude. So after the show, I'm like, dude, where's your ring? Well, why don't you wear your ring in the fashion show? I had on a gold accessorized suit with a gold watch, and she told me she was going to get me a gold ring months ago. So your ring is black, so when your suit is not color coordinated, I'm, I'm doesn't black go with everything? He has a no, silver ring at home, too, no, that I bought not to him. to me. I'm, I'm real kind of... Extra. So you've extra, now started like, accessorizing with yeah, your wedding ring. Yeah, I do. What's more important, your wardrobe or your wedding ring? If you have to choose, which one you're going to wear that day? My marriage, my wedding ring. Okay, Mr. Cox. So I'm gonna need you to keep that on. Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, ma'am. 
Um, there has been a lack of intimacy between me and Gerald because back in 2016, I did have a, a surgery. I had a hysterectomy, mm -hmm. and it was a botched surgery. Mm -hmm. So my hormones was out of whack. The sex drive was gone. And I asked Gerald, you know, Gerald, what are you doing to, you know, relieve yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you out there doing something you're not supposed to? But why to? would you jump to that conclusion just because that's something that you're going through? I, because we could not have sex for a whole year. Mm. When he tells me that he's not relieving himself, I'm like, okay, well, what are you doing? But let me tell you, Your Honor. So you don't believe he could have the discipline and the focus to and be did, committed to you for the well, year? Well, let me say that the two of you were not intimate during that time? Your Honor, I think what he was using as an outlet, he was on social media mm -hmm. going through the women's pages and liking their pages excessively. And that's the, when she was going through that, mm -hmm. I realized that there's many more things important than just sex. Because mm -hmm. she was in a really bad place as far as the whole emotional and mental aspect of it, definitely the physical. Mm -hmm. So having sex didn't even factor into it. Mm -hmm. But she offered me to go find someone, she called it a lot lizard, while we can't be intimate. But I didn't do that. So why, if I didn't do that then, I'm definitely not going to do it now. What is a lot lizard? Okay, so a lot lizard is the ladies who hang around truck stops. They look mm -hmm. for truck drivers. You know, just for men to, I guess, men away from home do what they need to do. And it's... They're hanging around the lot. Yeah, they're, they're hanging around the lot. Well, why so, do they got to be lizards? That's just a term. That's just a term that they're called. But I guess yeah. I, my mind was playing tricks on me because I figured, okay, if you go knock off a lot lizard, that's not somebody you're going to be caring about. It's just, you know, you just getting, you know, your needs met. Do they get paid? Yeah, not they get paid. Me. They're not doing it for free. Wow. But he did not go and get this lot lizard, which you suggested he do. Am I right? Based on the evidence I've seen, you are on Instagram liking thirst traps. He sent pictures to one of his friends of women with their big boobs, big butts. She has an issue with you liking these photos and you being a married man as you are. Mr. Cox when he said he didn't step out during that year. You don't? I... The doubt in your mind is coming from your experience mm -hmm. and just the mere fact that you went through that entire year yes. not being able to engage sexually with your husband. In your mind, for some reason, that means automatically, well, he had to do something else to take care of himself. Not necessarily. Yeah. In, in terms of stepping out of your marriage, stepping out of your relationship. Okay. And your honor, I, I mean, I like pictures of beautiful things. Cars, babies. Oh, she's gonna show me photos of babies right now that you like? Well, she should be in all fairness to, to what I like on Instagram or on Facebook, but she's only telling you part of the story. I okay, think. let well, me see I the did, photos well, she submitted into well, evidence. Well, I didn't see mm -hmm. those pictures that you and your because friend that's all you was were showing for, back and though. forth of women with mm -hmm. their well, I like big, big boobs, guys. big butts. He sent one, a video of a lady twerking mm. to one of his friends. And all these women, they look nothing like me. I'm, I'm a little chocolate drop. You know, I'm fit. I compete in bodybuilding. These women were big oh, voluptuous, your honor, your big honor. butt your Okay, girls. Mr. Cox, Mr. Yes. Cox, based on the evidence I've seen, you are on Instagram liking thirst traps. Yeah. Mm. I, you are doing that, sir. I, I have. I don't, I, never... I don't see any photos of any babies. If you're, if you're saying that that's what I like mm -hmm. and I appreciate beauty in everything, mm. but she focuses on, because I think there are some things going on with my wife that she might need to get cleared up about insecurity. So, so Mr. Mr. Cox, let me, let me tell you something. I am looking at women showing their body parts. Yes, ma'am. She's ma saying that is what she has an issue with, liking all of these photos and you being a married man as you are. Yes. You understand, sir? Yes, Your Honor. So, <laughs> hear her out on this. Well, she, I will say she slept in another bedroom when she saw the photos that I liked. You know, with you being in a committed relationship, there are certain messages that you shouldn't want to send right. to women on social media. Right. Unless you're still out there trying to see if you still got it. Yes, Your Honor. I'm not agreeing that I'm trying to see that I still got it. Well, you said earlier that you were. Yeah, I did say that. So... I did. You might be doing that in more ways than one, in addition to not wearing the ring. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, what? also his excessive hours at the cigar bar. 
So <laughs> he's been at work all day. You know, I'm going to put some food on the grill. So I called him. I sent him a picture. I said, hey, this is what I'm going to be preparing tonight. And he told me that he had already ate dinner mm -hmm. and that he was going to finish his cigar. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our date nights now are not uh, as no, much Honor. because he's at the cigar bar no, Your Honor. five to six hours a day. And sometimes that can be up to five days a week. No. The cigar bar is, has become my haven. It's got nice big plush chairs. It's really a great vibe. You know, I go smoke a cigar. It might be a 60 minute or a 90 minute. Or five hours. Mm -hmm. Depending on what my wife is doing, I will tell you, because mm -hmm. my wife works a lot. She's an a entrepreneur. So are you, are you spending that much time at the cigar bar, Mr. Cox? No, no, yes, no. Yes. You say you start modeling in a year and a half ago? Yeah. Yeah. How's that been going for you? Oh, it's been going really well. I'm, I'm starting to get some opportunities with companies, mm -hmm. so it's going really well. Are you going through a midlife crisis? You've deleted all the photos of your wife from your social media? No, absolutely not. He's no, turned his not. family page into a model page, so there's nothing that looks like he's a married family man on, marriage on and his muscles, it does. social media. Let me see the marriage and muscles page. I want to see what you're representing about marriage and muscles on the page. Okay. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Are you going through a midlife crisis? That's, uh, what, that's what your wife probably. is Probably. I am. What is the crisis? The crisis is I want to leave a good legacy. Not about money, but... You know, we have children, mm -hmm. so I want to be able to leave that legacy to them on my works. Well, that's not a crisis. The midlife crisis part is you not wearing your wedding ring because you want to see, after you've been married for 10 years, if you still got it. And neglecting his wife and shopping all the time. And what's uh, going on with me is not important anymore, even with his social media. She's telling me about all of the issues yes. she has, feeling neglected. Yes. And all of the attention you're giving to other women on social media. What about you? How do you feel it's going? It goes well some days, and then some days because she might be trying to complete a business deal or do training for a deal or whatever. So the hours that she's saying that I spend match what she spends mm -hmm. away from everyone in the house. So I just go to the cigar lounge just to unwind and, you know, not sit around the house waiting on her to get off a training or mm -hmm. finish a call, so. Your Honor, but to me, I don't feel like that has anything to do with, for instance, like this year for my birthday. Daryl has always uh, showered me with lavish gifts. This year uh, for my birthday, yeah, sure. I got a card, and you know those little turtles with and the And she caramel? loves those turtles, so I, don't, I hope she it's doesn't It's different admit. when you buy me a box, but he went to ex the gas station and I got me the little Walmart. packages with the three in the package. Walmart, cause that's where you can and that's them. what I got for my birthday. You got her three, tur three turtles? She three loves pieces of candy? Okay, so COVID has really impacted a lot. We yeah. normally do things, we travel. Last year, she had this extravagant birthday, right? So it wasn't in the plans this year. But you got her card, something yes, of did. sentimental value. Yes, ma'am. And you didn't, you didn't like the card either? I liked the card, but the gas station candy he could have kept or he could have wow, put you're... a gift card wow. or some money in the card That's since, extra. you know, we hadn't been able to really leave the house. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. But he's leaving the house going to the cigar bar. So you didn't think he was as thoughtful for your birthday no, this year? not at all. Hmm. And you said one of your other issues was you deleted all the photos of your wife from your social media? No, absolutely not. What do you say is going yeah, on? Yeah. So basically, he's no, turned his not. family page into a model page. No. And we're at the bottom of the pages. social media. So now you see nothing but his model photos. So there's nothing that looks like he's a married family man on, marriage on and his muscles, it does. social media page. On marriage and muscles, it does. I oh, have a, that's your other page. Yeah, I have a, a page for for myself, and I solely focus my page, all things. Let me see the marriage and muscles page. I want to see what you're representing about marriage and muscles on the page. Okay. <clears throat> we used to be on his personal page. But does it matter to you? I mean, he's created this page, he has all of these followers, and it's over 600 photos of you, your children, your family. Yes, yes Your Honor. You think I'm... you're being hidden? You're being hidden in plain sight. 
I think that his personal page that I used to be on, I'm nowhere to be found. So now when women look at his page, they're putting inappropriate things. And then on top of him not wearing his ring, you know, he's looking like this single He's not wearing model. the ring on his page either? The, on some of them. Your Honor, he'll right leave now. our house to go to a photo shoot with the ring on. And when, when the pictures come out, there's no ring on in the photo. Okay, so I believe you when you say you love your wife. I do. But, sir, lately, you've been loving yourself more. Yes. Mm. <laughs> hey, Mr. Cox, I'm so happy for your new career path. Thank and you. I congratulate you on your success. Thank you. But for 10 years, this woman has been by your side through thick and thin, and you know what? You have been by her side through thick and thin as well. When she went through everything that she went through, you were there. Yes. And I always say, you judge the relationship not by the good times, but how you treat each other when the going was rough mm -hmm. and in the bad times. And who was there with you in the trenches? She can ride with you in the limo, sir, when you make it, because she rode with you when you were on the bus. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. So. She will. No matter what you're doing with this modeling career, appreciate your family and your wife, wear your ring. You know how you know you still got it? Because <laughs> you still got it to yourself. Okay. You don't need anyone outsider who doesn't know anything about you to tell you that you still got it. Your self-worth does not come from strangers. Your self-worth doesn't come from likes. Your self-worth doesn't come from how many swipes you get. Your self-worth comes from you, sir. Don't ever forget that. Because you have a beautiful family. You've been married for 10 years. You know how many people don't even make it this far? And everything that the two of you have been through? So it's at this 10-year mark where you have to sit back now and reevaluate because you've gotten into a little bit of a rut. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you start taking each other for granted. And that's why you don't get the thoughtful birthday gifts because you're, you're taking each other for granted. So now you have to think, all the things that you were doing to get that attention from other people, how do you bring that into your home? What do you do that's different? Everyone has their own love language. It's not about how you want to show her love. She doesn't want three turtles for her birthday, right? Right. She wants something that shows you put some thought into it. And I know you said you got her a card, but you know her at this point. So show her love in the way she wants to be loved. And the same goes for you. Because when you know what the person's love language is, you're not operating from a mode of, of selfishness. How does my wife want to be loved? How does my husband want to be loved? In 10 years in, you have to think about what you did in the very beginning mm -hmm. that made it work from day one. Absolutely. And you go back and you think about it and you reevaluate it. Because would you have ever stopped wearing your wedding ring at the beginning of your marriage because you wanted to see if you still got it? No, because you already knew you had it all. So that's what the two of you have to take with you when you leave court today. Okay. It's a reevaluation. You have a beautiful family. Your husband is a model now, ma'am. Yeah, I know. Just accept the fact that he's going to get attention from other people. Yes. That's what happens. But she wants to always know, sir, that no matter what attention you get from someone else, she's number one. She always will be. That's what you got to show her. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Going forward, I'll, I'll wear my ring. I won't be matching, but I'll still wear my ring with everything. As far as the love language and accepting now that Gerald's a model, um, she really shined light on just things that I need to work on, accepting that he is this supermodel now and celebrate all his wins with him and make sure that, you know, we don't have to go through this situation again. Mm -hmm.